they don't understand what you can do with their hate. They don't understand that their words and their actions are helping you. Every single time that they talk down on you, they help you. Every single time that they plot against you, they help you. Every single time they let your name leave their lips in any type of way, they are helping you. And that's what a hater is never going to understand. You are helping me. Every time you leave a negative comment, you are helping me because I am an alchemist. I know how to transmute energy. I'm not someone who can be defeated, okay? And a lot of times our alchemist, the people who really are tapped into that and have that running through their DNA, they don't look strong. They don't look like somebody that's like, yeah, on the outside, their physical appearance doesn't look like somebody that's like, yeah, I'm not going to mess with him. Like, you may not be the big six foot five guy with huge muscles, or maybe you are, you know, everybody's different. But a lot of times, God kind of cloaks those people he gives that gift to because he wants people to perceive you that way <laughs> because you need people to go up against you that's the point you need people to go up against you in order to become a master at transmutation and um alchemy you need those you need life adversities you need opposition you need those things because like i always call it it's um it's strength training you're building strength by going through these situations and you those situations are so important and at the moment it doesn't feel like it but they really are you need that so god will cloak you you're not going to look like somebody who is just untouchable off the rip that's not going to come until later when they when they really feel your energy but coming up when you're strength training and you in the field and you don't you don't really know what alchemy is you don't really know that these things are happening for you and not to you. You're just like, oh, woe is me throwing your pity parties. You look pitiful. <laughs> you look pitiful to people. You look mediocre. You just look whatever to people. Uh, physically, they can feel your energy, but physically, you look like somebody who can be touched. And I feel like that's by design. So on the outside, people are going to see you as somebody who they can mess with. And that's all part of God's plan because they're falling right into like your hands. It's like putty in your hands are falling right into your trap that you didn't even know that was there because God set that trap when you were born. You didn't know that the reason why all these people are targeting you is because they are helping you become stronger. So as life goes on, you cannot be messed with. You're just rising and rising and rising and rising. You're just getting more powerful. You're just becoming more and more of something completely different than you were before. And this is why a hater is going to act like that. They don't get it. They, they, you look so innocent. You look so sweet. You look like an easy target. You look like somebody that can be stepped on. And in the moment they try to step on you, it's like a force field over you. They can't, they cannot touch you and they're confused. And a lot of times they're going to keep on trying Oh, I couldn't get to her. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try like this. I'm going to try like this. I'm going to try like this. But the enemy only has so many tricks. It's only so many things that they can do. They're, they're not as wise as you or as wise and powerful as God. So there's only so many things that the enemy can really do. I want you to remember that because you are never going to not experience opposition in life. Okay, I want you to understand that. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what you've already been through. This is not the end of you experiencing opposition and adversity. I know you don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. Life is not meant to be all sunshines and rainbows, okay? Yes, your perception of life paints your reality, but things are going to happen. And it's going to be things that you can't even control half the time. Like I said, acts of God are going to happen. You have to not only one perceive those situations differently. Yes, you can, you're allowed to have emotions, but you cannot allow these things to beat you up. You have to keep going with intention and keep persevering. And the times where you can't persevere, lay down your sword and relax and rest because that's also part of it. Have that balance within that. But also understand you have the power to transmute that energy. You have the power to take what you've gone through and make it build 
a brand new you, a brand new life. If you were a child who was told you were never going to amount to anything, some children hear that and it destroys them. You are not one of those children. You were one of those children that heard that and was like, okay, I'm about to prove you wrong. I'm very rebellious. I'm very hard headed. I don't, I don't listen. So I don't listen when people tell me I'm not going to do something because I'm going to do the opposite and I'm going to do it with intention and I'm going to do it with grace and I'm going to do it through God and I'm going to get there. I'm going I'm to be there right before your eyes. You're going to blink and you're going to see me on TV. You're going to hear me on the radio. You're going to see me um, in Barnes and Noble, New York Times bestseller. You're going to see me um, opening up my new restaurant. You're going to see me have have a whole classroom full of students. You're going to see me have my own private practice. You're going to blink because that is somebody who takes any negativity, anything someone says about them and allows it to fuel them. So be that person. Tap into that energy. That needs to be the energy for this year. It really does. And I feel like a lot of you have already feeling it. Keep feeling it, okay? This 2024 is a really important year spiritually. 2024 is a karma year. It's a year of karma. So everyone is reaping what they sow this year. Even if right now it feels a little funky because the energy is still kind of settling and technically the new year doesn't start until Aries season, but it's still a new year, okay? So this is your karma year. So I don't care what happened before. I don't even care what's happening right now. You have to remain optimistic and you have to make sure that you are not letting anything that happened before today bring you down, okay? You are an alchemist. You can do something that a lot of people cannot do. Billions of people cannot do this. You have a gift that some that's only something that you can do and very few others, okay? You have the power to literally, like God said, make your enemies your footstool. And it's not about it's not about the opposition. I just want you to understand that that's never going to go away. And if you are anything like me, you're going to you're going to deal with that more than the average person would because of who you are in your energy. So because of that, make sure when these things happen and you experience hate or you experience just things of life, make it your bitch, okay? <laughs>